Last night's historic win at Eden Park for the Black Ferns was the final chapter in a truly remarkable 12 months. To think where this team was last November to stepping up last night on rugby's biggest stage in front of a sold-out Eden Park against a side on a record 30-match winning streak is a lot to unpack. From resignations to reviews, axings to debuts, the 34-31 win in Auckland was built brick by brick by a side more akin to a family now after all the challenges they've overcome. Here's how the Black Ferns went from the lowest of lows to a record sixth Rugby World Cup. The Black Ferns slumped to their fourth defeat in a 29-7 humbling against France and Castra, having averaged a losing margin of 29.75 points over the four tests against England and the Chanticleers. Alarm bells are ringing and a can of worms is about. December 7, 2021, Black Fern reveals breakdown on tour. The caretaker Anata Erengramait says in a social media post she suffered a mental breakdown in front of everyone on tour, a result of alleged comments over the years from coach Glanmore. NZR take claims incredibly seriously and vow to look into situation while a distressed and upset Moore denies claims. NZR responds to take her Anata Erengramait's claims with an independent review. MZR CEO Mark Robinson says it will be a full review around coaching, the environment and conditioning. The review is expected to be completed in January to allow the Black Ferns to turn their focus to preparing for the Rugby World Cup on home soil. In a tie-turning moment for sport, the Black Ferns become fully professional players after securing semi-professional status in 2018. The deal is compared to England and France whose women's teams are already professional. England and France will be incredibly difficult to beat, but we now have an opportunity to be in the best position we can to win the Rugby World Cup, former Blackfern and MP Louisa Wall said. Following the announcement of their professional contracts, Super Rugby Opiki launches as a four-team competition. Chiefs Manava comes out on top in the end winning all three of their matches with a certain Sevens star shining for the Waikato squad. March 25, 2022, squad selected for Black Ferns Camp and CHCH. A 44-strong squad is named for a camp in the Garden City in early April with 25 contracted players joined by 19 others selected based on their Super Rugby Opiki form.